Okay, so this is our cylinder head with the camshafts out. Uh, just in there, you'll see a little bolt in there. And there is, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's ten of them. Okay, now there's probably a specific order again, and this might be it. Um, uh, yesterday I I went out and bought a an 8mm, a 10mm, and a 12mm. Uh, 12 point star bit, thinking it would work. And I've, I've seen uh, people say, post up in places that there are 12 mil, so I, uh, I like my chances, and I was let down. Uh, but it's alright, I went and got a 9 mil. And they seem to fit spot on, so... We're gonna continue on with the, uh, the same order. Jesus. I really should clean up here. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Half turns. <laughs> Oh shit, I was meant to go that one, then that one. Oh, well, I'll just do the reverse. Oh, I apologize. So I've gone that one, now that one. Now I want to go that one and this one. Okay. Right. Get it together, man. Looks so weird. Oh, fuck, oh. What was the order again? I, uh, I just had a thought. I uh, probably could have. <laughs> yeah, it might have made it a bit easier, but I'm not sure if there's a reason why you shouldn't do it. But I could have tipped the engine onto its side, and that way, so if this was folded down, that way I could have put more of my weight on the. Uh, to try and loosen these bolts instead of uh, levering from nothing really, except for my weird hand position, so that could have made things a bit easier, but uh, whatever. We got it done in the end, so that's all that really matters. Now these are super loose, so I will do the same order just to uh, to uh, move them out a little bit more, but it shouldn't really matter now. Well, it probably does, but they're just so loose. Oh, here it is. Oh, look at this goodness. Oh, it smells putrid. Not like a... I don't know, it's like a... Oh, it's weird, I've never smelled anything like it. I don't know. It's not as bad as like rotting flesh. 
like a like a road kill sort of thing, but it's just it's weird. I can't describe it. It's indescribable, undescribable. But uh, yeah, no, that's that's them. I'm just gonna take them all out. I'm gonna be using new bolts, so it, uh, whatever you do with these is up to you. I'm just gonna throw them down there carelessly. There should be washers. And there is, there are washers. Uh, there, yeah. I'll try and get one out. Come on. Okay, go on. Oh, there we go. What I ended up doing, because I can't remember uh, how much I've shown or how much was recorded, but I um yeah after that half turn they're all pretty much loose, so I still went back in a similar order to what I did in the first when I first uh, turned them that half turn, and they're all they're all just super loose, so I've just um, gotten the the uh, drill or the the nine mil bit thing whatever it's called. Um, and I've just gone nuts with it and just gone to take them all out. This is what they look like They've got a washer and yeah, and there shouldn't be anything else holding the block. Oh, I really shouldn't have done that That just felt weird. It's just uh, I'm gonna You know Get it up evenly as I can and not do what I just did where I uh Although there shouldn't be any real locating. Oh, I think there is a couple of locating pins um, for the gasket, but I'm not sure how far up they protrude into the, the head. Could just be really heavy. Or maybe something else is still bolted. If it is, it's... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Shouldn't be. Standing. I can lift one side at a time, but not the other. Oh, there we go. I went front and back this time. And yes, there is the two locating bolts. I'll just have a look in there quickly. Oh, I wonder how that looks up. Okay. Be careful of that. Um, yeah, that was the uh, little cap that's on top of. Hang on, I'm going to set this down somewhere really quickly. Okay, I'm just going to sit on my lap, but yeah, what fell down was um, probably something I don't want to uh, damage or like damage the surface here because that's where our, our cam, when it rotates, it hits this, which pushes down our valve springs and our valves. So, I'm really sorry about that. I'm just going to do it like this. Actually, I might do it like this. Instead of being lazy, I'm going to, yeah, instead of being lazy, I'm going to show you this way. So yeah, it's going across, it's on the one, and yep, so on. Okay, so that's it. This was our, that was our intake side. Yeah, and this is our exhaust side. Uh, it's angled towards me at the moment on the exhaust side, so I'll turn her around and uh, give you a geese. There's uh, heaps of build up in there. I mean, that's pretty filled. Um, yeah, I'll just take off this gasket and show you those locating pins. If you can't see in there, these two here. And it, yeah. That's it. I never thought it would smell like this. I don't know what that means or anything, but I just never thought it would.
of oil that I just dropped in there. Okay, so I've just taken out these things here, these caps from the uh, top of the valves. Um, yeah, what I did to get them out, like you can get them out with your fingers, but um, it just started to get annoying. They sort of started to uh, have a bit of suction there with the oil that was still in there. So um, what I did was, give us a sec, I used my long pliers, but now if I can do this one handed, I put them um, under a rag and then I grabbed it. So yeah, I put it under it and then I grabbed it and then I pulled it out. That was just to, uh, well, not only is it less damaging or potentially less damaging than just going straight in with the, uh, with the pliers, but um, yeah, the, uh, the texture on the rag uh, sort of helped to I don't know, how do you say, sort of grip onto the to the caps and uh, pull them out a bit easier. So that was how I did that. Just having a look at the head now. Going to give that a bit of a clean up before I continue on uh, tearing the engine apart. But um, yeah, I truly want to get it nice and clean and uh, try and do a bit of a, a polish job on the on the runners and in the combustion chamber as well so yeah, just giving you an idea of how it looks beforehand it's pretty caked on this in there and that came off but it's still pretty uh pretty well in there so i'll uh give it a soak in. that was just a quick hit with some degreaser But yeah, it's actually a really good casting in this combustion chamber. I was practicing my uh, polishing technique on a on a B20 head. And um, it was just left over from a mate's uh, little project. And um, he let me muck around with it and um, yeah the casting was just terrible and this is just really nice to see still some large chunks but uh, I'll get a little wide wide brush and go over them and get okay so I'm just gonna go ahead with my Dremel tool it's not actually a Dremel it's a, a cheaper brand but um, it does its job just as good and for a quarter of the price I, uh, I can't really complain that's it there hanging up on my ladder and I've got the extension bit as well it's just like a little nylon brush I guess um, and I'm just gonna go through and very carefully avoiding any of the areas around the valves I'll be very careful in there but I'm just going to try and get some of that carbon out of there and I'll spray a bit of degreaser in there as well. Um, pretty important, and I probably should get that stuff out now, is um, safety. Safety. Because the last thing you'd want in your eye is a bit of aluminium or a bit of carbon or anything like that. And also a dust mask is pretty handy as well, which is well trying to put on now. And as you can see, it looks pretty ridiculous, but I'd rather look ridiculous than uh, blind. I'd just rather protect myself than uh, than hurt myself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump into it now, and uh, let's do it. I've just swapped out the nylon. The nylon brush it uh, was really quite useless for what I was trying to do uh, I'd used it because uh, I was too scared the wire the wire wheel would be too abrasive on such a nice cast that was already there um, I did use it on the other head I tried uh, this on but it was a, a much more had much more texture to it so it didn't really 
didn't really hurt it at all. So uh, yeah, wish me luck. Here's a quick glance of uh, what we've got so far. Um, I only just cleaned up this little spot here with the wire brush. Okay, you can sort of see a little bit of progress here. And a little bit in here and here. It's still a little bit dirty. But that's alright, I'm only trying to get rid of the uh, carbon build up at this point. Um, I stopped using the degrees and I went, went ahead and started using a uh, throttle body slash uh, carby cleaner. Now it smells a lot better. That's the first thing I've noticed. I've only just sprayed it on a little bit now just to, to sort of soak it as it says to do. Uh, and then it says to give it another spray through just to clean it all off. So we'll see how, how well that goes. And yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, you can see that did a really did a really nice job they haven't been touched with the y wheel i don't know if you can see the difference um i'll try and get some of that yellowy orange off yeah i still got to go through and do it with the y wheel it doesn't take it all off which is fine but it's definitely loosened a lot of the bad stuff off so i'll be back soon